and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fake Vimerdinger, our last fake deck of the day. That's what we're doing here today on Meme Tier Mondays. We're trying out uh, some decks where we play the champions and regions for popular meta decks, but then completely change them up with what the decks actually look like and surprise our opponents. It's not, you know, it's we've, we've been getting some mixed results here. Um, some of them been been working good, others not so much. Um, this one, what we're doing is we're playing Vimerdinger. We got Vi plus Heimerdinger, which is usually, you know, a control deck. What I'm going to try is I'm going to basically be playing um, Piltover and Zaun Allegiance and going with that. You know, we're doing it for the Sub Snipe Scavenger, a card that I think is is pretty underrated, um, but it's just kind of hard to, to make work. And so we're going to see if this can be a way where we can play some stuff. Uh, sump snipe scavenger because it's allegiance trigger you get to create a sump works map in hand so you get to give any of your allies elusive which can be really powerful there isn't like a ton of elusive things around these days and that's what we're going to kind of take advantage of we're going to be trying to make elusives between the scavenger making an elusive heimerdinger um you know makes the the uh, floor be which are elusives shadow assassins elusive and our uh, new card, one of my favorites, Sub Percival. Basically, Shadow Assassin 2.0. With you know, it, it, it's also when I'm summoned, draw a card, just like Shadow Assassin. And um, instead of instead of being a two-two, it's a one-five. But there are times where if you can get this this part to happen, where and you get a five-five, where it drew a card, like this can just end games really fast. Um, as far as like, what do we want to give the map? Like just putting the map on this thing and making a 4-3 elusive is really nice. But otherwise we have cards like Boom Crew Rookie. Giving this elusive would be really good. Kempunk Pickpocket. So if this has elusive, they can't just block it. Those are going to be some really good um, elusive cards for us. Um, and also Vi. Giving Vi elusive and making, you know, if Vi is like a 10-5 you know, but elusive, like that's also awesome. Um... So yeah, that's that's kind of what our, our deck's about, uh, you know, playing a PNZ Allegiance deck. Let's just kind of play some, you know, playing some different cards that uh, people don't necessarily play a lot of. And let's see how strong it is. All right, we're going to go to the lab with our PNZ. We're going all PNZ. Where's our guy? There's our T-Rex. All right, here we go. Let's go play five games. <laughs> yeah. Are Karma Ash viable? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I played Karma Ash together just a few days ago. Um, looks like two days ago. Here we go. Check out check out that list. There's a good Karma Ash list. So tomorrow, uh, just kind of another little reminder, we're doing the 12 hour stream starting it at 11 a.m. Eastern. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you're usually like asleep during the stream or anything, if, if you can join in on an earlier time though, we're starting that nice and early. We're gonna be playing 10 decks, so we'll have 10 new videos for y'all on YouTube. Let's see, I'm gonna just get rid of this and this and go with that. Two pair, Mystic Shot Kicker. So I guess they have, like, they probably have Thermogenic Beam in hand. No, because it wouldn't let them cast Thermogenic Beam. So not sure what, you know, maybe they just don't have auto pass on. Yeah, if puff caps get tossed, they just go away forever. Yeah, if you 
if you have like cards that have puff caps on them and those cards get tossed, those puff caps are also just tossed, so to say. Like they're they're just gone. Take from the rich, give to me. Ugh. Us. Save me, Luke. So we traded our pickpocket. Like, that's not bad. Like, we just traded our pickpocket for their return, plus three damage on their badger bear, plus putting their um, Eye of the Dragon back in their hand. So we traded our pickpocket for all of that. Not bad. We'll hopefully have Chump won't be able to trade with that next time. Alright, we just drew two Ionia cards. There are... How many Ionia cards in here total? Five. So there's three others in the deck. Hopefully this doesn't miss. Yay. <laughs> I would feel bad if we, we just missed. I guess we had a 10% chance of missing. Three out of 30. Um. Oh, actually, you know what? I haven't... I haven't looked at that at all. Was there Was there an announcement today about a balance patch? There was. So yeah, that that should be to yeah, like that'll be tomorrow. You're going to need a map. Looks like there's okay, so there's no there's no card fixes though. Looks like it looks like no, no cards are getting balanced. So to speak. Like some expedition archetypes. Um, here's here's the article right here. No Tuesday's patch day. Like whenever, like the end of the week, that's the patch day. Like whenever you get like your weekly rewards, that's whenever the patches go go through. Also. Oh, actually, and it looks like pat actually they're changing that patch timing, according to this. It says, starting with patch 1.2 in two weeks. So in two weeks, they're going to have a, a new a patch thing. We're adjusting how we patch Rune Terra to make sure players get to play on new versions as simultaneously as possible. This is my home. Regardless of platform or location, the short version is we'll continue to patch on Tuesday around 10 a.m. Pacific time. but you won't actually see the changes until 24 hours later. Aha, huh, so that's the that's the new thing. So that's the new thing. So starting in 2 weeks they're going to have patch 1.2 and it will be applied on Tuesday, but you don't see it in action until Wednesday. No. Pickpocket created that deny for me. I want Pickpocket to create some more cards for me. Yeah, like a remembrance. I want these chump bumps to trade with these four fours, but if they go straight to attacks, I can't really do that. Everywhere I go, the light follows. 
Okay, good. See, wait, they're at 10? They're probably not doing, like, 4 damage. They're probably not doing, like, direct damage to me. I can probably just take this. Probably. I guess we'll see, though. And just use, like, these burn spells and these elusives to finish the game off. I can do this. Atta boy. With... Atta boy. Um, sure. Give you some mushrooms. Maybe they'll draw some puff caps. Yeah! Draw those puff caps. Alright, that's one. Hey, every damage counts. I have... I kind of have nine how it looks like right now. Um, I'll go straight to attacks, though. So even if they lifesteal over here, they're still taking nine first. Okay, they're going to do that. We will do this. Alright, they're going to do that. We will... Do this. <laughs> Stop. Pushing my limit. Well, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, now I'm in trouble. They can they get to final spark. They get a dragonling at the beginning of combat, so they can go straight to combat and kill me. Master. Yeah, double health potion. We'll bring peace to yeah, Whatever. man, I really thought we were gonna win this, right? Like I, I really thought we were winning that. But no, we did not. Definitely thought we were winning that. But they had fight spell. Fight spell, double health potion. Our losers were looking really good for a little bit. Let's keep the static shock. Hey, Mamba Man. Hope your week's starting off well. Who's on top? 
Hired gun. Just gonna put this here. Make it worth my while. Better run. That was a tough one, that last one. Always two steps ahead. Yeah, Patrocity cost six. And remember, with the bot, you can do exclamation point card and then type it and it tells you what it does and for how much. No one knows these streets like me. Whiffed? Will of Ionia again. We have whiffed because of Will of Ionia four times today now. I'm playing two Will of Ionias. And the other deck we had, we had two Will of Ionias. And two the two Will of Ionias have cost us to whiff on Allegiance four times today. Yeah, of course they have tough. Of course. Yet again, that's that's game number two that I, I really thought that we were going to be winning. Like, I, I honestly thought we were winning that game. But, you know, the, the Allegiance whiff, and then, I mean, that didn't make the biggest change, but that, that one mana blowout on the Static Shock, and, and uh, with Grizzled Ranger, all that. Yeah, we're we're not we do not have the luck today or really it's been like it's been like five days of, <laughs> of bad luck for us. I'm hoping tomorrow it changes. Start getting a bunch of wins, cause basically ever since ever since we hit um, Masters it's just been more and more losses piling up. Do I wanna keep chump wump? It does beat you down when you can't win, but you know, just gotta keep at it. Keep learning. You know, I, I could have static shocked the previous turn before they could have that card available. Maybe that would have, you know, maybe I could have made a difference.
See, like, here's, like, I could be Mystic Shotting this at least before it attacks and everything. Oh, they don't miss. Opponent doesn't miss Allegiance Triggers. Of course not. Absolutely, Jackson. What? What's that? That Will of Ionia is always trying to stop our allegiance. It's always there. Hmm. I would hit it this time. But I didn't play it. Deep dive day where I play the decks for 10 videos. Or 10. No, sorry. Play a deck for 10 matches. And maybe adjust it more during said time. No, there's no cards that's in multiple regions, no. Every every card has one region. It has the region down at the bottom that it is. Block one and kill two others. I'm taking 12, exactly. Well, I guess it'd be 13 because this would level up. Think, like our deck is that bad to be honest my poets have just had really really great hands like they're curving out perfectly and that just means you lose kind of thing but like you know one more turn and you know we have them with all those with like just the elusives that we are going to have and burn spells and stuff like that even if i would use the two mystic shots like they were still going to be dead my next turn giving the bunku rookie elusive like, if they just don't have that Frenzied Skitter and, and don't have removal, they're dead. But they're just having everything. That's how it goes sometimes. I'm not sure what I want to do with you, Chumpwump. So we played against this deck before, so they're just going to try to eliminate all of their their deck. Like, they're going to toss a whole bunch of stuff, which could make Mushroom, mushroom Clouds either good or bad could be like they get tossed or it could be that they have like no cards left and so they draw a whole bunch of puff caps
I'm gonna go for the damage. I kind of feel like they're gonna play the, the troll, the toad, troll toad? That's probably not the name. Thorny toad. Yep, they played thorny toad. And if I would have, so like if I would have played the pickpocket, they would have that. I wanted to go for the more damage um, against thorny toad. I like thick for an aggro deck. Yeah, I like that. We, we went uh, bigger. We never got to do sub -Percible, and we haven't drawn sub -Percible here either. I really do like sub but we're not drawing that card. Hey, see, I had to say something. There's sub -Percible. Nice, we actually hit that. So if I put it on the scavenger, scavenger attacks for more. If I put it on the boom crew rookie, it's harder for them to kill because they're gonna have. Um, so I kind of want to go here because they're gonna have you know like grass be undying. Cards like that, it's harder to block. Or like you know, the scavenger they can block, but it just kills this. Why would you not block with a one-two? Why would you block with a one-four? So more, more twisted as. Okay. Either way, QQ. Yeah, I I wasn't um, super impressed with Twisted Eyes whenever we were playing it before. This way. But um, but yeah, I, I don't know. So. But the thing is, is the metagame is different from that that time. And let's see, so Percival is five. Mm. Could be Ruination. The metagame is different than what it was at that that time. There is a lot more control and stuff like where Ezreal is going to be a lot better than than it was at that time. So yeah, I'll, okay, I'll work on it for you. Time to go. See, these elusives hit pretty hard. I like this sump snipe scavenger as a card. I was setting up to play Heimerdinger and make turrets, but now we'll just kill that. So where are we at? Six now? I thought they were playing Jinx. It was like their sleeve, you know? I was like, whoa, they're playing Jinx?
The only, like, their plan is just, is just ruination, right? Like, that's their plan. Did they even attack with the Cursed Keepers? Do you just want a ruination? So I didn't play anything first. So that's seven, this will be eight, nine, ten. So that's ten for Sub Percival. One. Not quite. Um. Kind of want to throw that at them just so I get so I get a two one to block with. Even though now they know about it. You know, now they know that they have less life because of the Mystic Shot. You can kind of see our deck idea here, like with just like these bigger elusives. Good enough, it looks pretty nice. Mushrooms. Do not question our resolve. Okay, 18 cards and 10 puff caps. Maybe they draw four puff caps. So yeah, if they, if any of these puff caps are on like the bottom cards and they toss those cards, those puff caps are just gone, unfortunately. I'm doing this route so I can Thermogenic Beam. So now 16 and 10, okay, good. Neither of those had puff caps. Um, Maokai is two away from leveling up. Karma is going to level up next turn. Basically, Maokai is going to level up next turn also. Like, this thing's going to die. Like, if I, if I kill Karma, then Maokai levels up. And so then I'm left with four cards. Which I don't love that. So I guess I'm going to kill Maokai. But obviously, keep letting them keep Karma is a problem. Kind of all, all a problem. I think this gives us more opportunity for the game to go longer, which is good for our puff gaps. The answer lies within. Hmm. 
So about 14 and 10. None of those had puff caps, huh? Maokai's already leveled up, so it's not like I'm helping Maokai level up. Pursuit's probably... I, I would probably classify Pursuit of Perfection more as a control deck than a combo deck. Alright, progress. Now they got 15 puff caps, 14 cards. Come on, draw four puff caps. Four, one, two, three, four. No, just one. Just one. Oh, yes, draw some more. Here you go. No, 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 not that. There you go, draw some more. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got one, two, three. <laughs> there we go. All right, our fake Vine Redeemer deck got the win. Puff caps. Puff caps are always a fun way to win. Ooh, we need one more win. Get this extra uh, capsule for the vault. Yes, I don't like Curse Keeper in their deck whatsoever. Yes, I don't think that's a good card for them. I mean, they they had Blighted Caretaker also, yeah, uh, in there. Uh, I I didn't like look at their deck list, but like just from what we saw, we saw Blighted Caretaker, and then yeah, like the Ruinations and Vile Feast. But no, I I don't think that that card should be in there. I think they have like a a nice idea, but there definitely needs to be changes to that list. All right, let's see. You can tell like the person that the builder was playing against, like you know, a, a uh, like building it for verse control with stuff like with, like curse keeper. Oh, yeah, misfortune, twisted fate. Yeah, that curve is really good. Curse keeper into blighted caretaker. It's just that that curve doesn't happen very often. I've played a bunch of curse keeper blighted caretaker decks. And that that two three is awesome, but you can't just rely on that. That doesn't happen very often. Weird. Weird. I'm like, I'm like, what do I do? Yeah, I understand they were playing the the mobile addicts list, like you said, but I I don't I haven't seen that list. I haven't, you know, I haven't, you know, I'm streaming right now. I haven't really just gone over and looked at it. Hmm. I'm gonna just play the. Like, I'm going to just do, like, the better play of Static Shock on the two of them. And save Thermogenic Beam for something else, even though it, it is tempting to Thermogenic Beam right there. It's very tempting. Yeah, that's true. Glimpse Beyond. There's another one. Off. 
I can do this. Basically, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give them an easy plunder whenever they play Black Market Merchant on turn two. They gotta have like another like they probably have another merchant or pilfer goods stuff like that. Like I'm not not gonna give them easy plunder. I do have the other uh, Heimerdinger, so it's not too big a deal to play that one. Alright, can't stop the plunder stuff. Just mis misfortune trigger gets that on its own. Progress waits for no one. Love ya. Here comes some pilfer goods. I hope not, but just the likely thing. The gunpowder animations are pretty good. I do like those too. They are good. Sub Percival. That's pretty random. Pretty random. But they got four cards, and I have. A lot of cards. <clears throat> so I think that worked out well for us. out here. Alright, give him some puff caps. So that puff cap damage can add up. Riptide Rex would be pretty bad. Hope they don't have Riptide Rex. Is the 05 catapult for four mana that does one damage each turn really, really bad or just mediocre? Probably like mediocre. It's it's definitely playable. I've been I've been pretty happy with it. Oh, that's, that's just perfect. 
I've been pretty happy with it, uh, playing it in different decks. I, I kind of thought that it would be really, really bad, but it's actually turned out to be pretty decent. Um, I haven't, I haven't really put it in a plunder deck, uh, too much. I mean, it triggers Swain, I put it with Swain, it triggers Swain. I don't know if I've played, like, Swain, like, Twisted Fate, like a plunder Swain deck. Maybe we do that tomorrow. We're probably gonna play a lot of Bilgewater decks tomorrow. Bilgewater decks do just seem awesome. Yeah, you don't wanna cry. These cards are really good. Speaking of really good, Sub Percival, it's just a 5 5 Shadow Assassin. That's awesome. So, yeah, whenever they ruination, remember, remember I had like eight or nine cards in hand and they had three? But then just start playing some Yordle Grifters. A Riptide Rex that blows up everything. Those are awesome. Ruination was kind of... I mean, I guess it, it helped even up the board, but it's those Bilgewater cards are... You know, the Twisted Fate was a two-for-one. Like, all these things are two-for-ones. Be a good time to find the uh, the allegiance card and get a Sumpworks map on Vi. Give Vi elusive ten power. Sump snipe scavenger. Scared? I don't blame you. First big mission. Little jerk. My boom crew rookie. So so I'm at six. The warning shot. My flash of brilliance. So they've cast two flash of brilliances. So they so two of these cards are six plus mana spells. One's a warning shot. Catapult certainly died sometimes to challenger vulnerable attacks. Yeah, definitely. But um, it's hard to kill. With, like that's basically how you kind of have to kill it. Like it's hard to kill with spells being with that five toughness. It is kind of a it is a slower metagame right now, which would be good for the card. Also, the slower the metagame, the better for that card because it just works over a long period of time. Because it is two damage a turn, so like that's pretty nice. You know, like a, a turn cycle, it is two damage. Are they even... How does that kill... Oh, right, seven, right, because it's five toughness, right, right, right.
Oh. Scavenger would have been up next. To be able to... Yeah, Scavenger would have been up next. Given that Vi elusive, but obviously they had the removal spell for it. So that was probably one of the six mana spells that Flash of Brilliance cast. That's probably the other. So I'm down to four. A warning shot, so I'm really at three. It's a close game. It's a very close game. Yes, yeah, recalling Vi would reset her attack. Yep. Very, very close. Oh, so I'm at two. And they're just stealing my cards. I could steal a burn spell. Potentially. Very close to dying to all this direct damage. They haven't done any they haven't done any like attacking damage in a really long time. You know, it was like the the Riptide Rex and warning shots and stuff like that. Like I haven't taken attack damage in a while. Okay. Kind of annoying. I only have, I can only play one card. You won't believe what Pilty throw away. So I'm basically I'm down to effectively one life, and now I'm dead. That was a game I thought I was going to be winning also. Those six mana spells they got with my Flash of Brilliances were pretty awesome. Um, you know, normally you wouldn't think that... Uh, like, what, what was that card? Oh, it's in Bilgewater. But six mana deal two to something, and then if it dies, do four to them. Like, usually that wouldn't be a very good card, but that was perfect against my Shadow Assassin and, and my life total at that time. That's just kind of how, like, that, that game was just how that, that whole uh, video went. You know, we played five games. There was, out of those four losses, there was at least three of them that I really thought that we were winning. And I, I didn't think that we were going to be losing, but opponents just had um, some really good, really good cards at really good times. And then there was another one where they just curved out. But... I mean, I like the Sump Snipe Scavenger. I do think this card's pretty pretty good, and it did look pretty good. But I don't know. Our like the problem is like we don't have a good one drop. Like our one drop is not good. That's a problem. But that's kind of the only problem. We just ran into some. We really ran into opponents running hot this video. Like I, this deck really didn't feel bad. Like this actually felt it felt a lot better than I thought, and it felt better than some of the other decks we were playing today. Like this this deck felt a lot lot better than the fake Karina control that we played. Like this was felt a lot better than that. And honestly probably better than the burnt better than the fake burn aggro too. Um yeah those randomly generated cards. Um, so there we go getting your elusive on with fake Vimerdinger. All right, tomorrow, remember, we got the 12-hour the, uh, stream. I'm going to be doing 10 decks for that. We'll be starting that at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, hope to see everybody there nice and early for that. That'll be fun. And those of y'all watching on YouTube, you're going to have 10 videos um, for tomorrow. So that's that'll be awesome. So, yep, long stream hype. All right, but that's it here for Fake Vimerdinger. On, and it'll finish out our meme tier Monday stream. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.